previously. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of our FIFA 20 Manchester United career match series and we have got that Europa League match against Hudson after the disappointment that we had in in the last episode we'll be hoping to put on a better performance in this one and so we're going to go with a much younger side we're going to go with our youth team um Romero Bingo, Ethan Laird, Rojo, Twan Z B Williams as our as our defenders, Garner, Matic. I think I should play Matic for for the sake of some solidity in that midfield, but we're going to bring Levitt on, we're gonna bring our youth players on um, we just want it to be a full, full blown youth team. Uh, Mata is quite old, he should go to the bench. So, yeah, Ghana Matic in midfield, Soria Gomez and Chong behind Mason Greenwood. Now, let's not forget, Chong and Mason Greenwood have been in brilliant form in this, in this competition, the Europa League. So, let's try and get a better result than we did in the match against Sheffield United which is a match that we should probably should have won and this one also looks like a match that we probably should be winning given Hawks have played four games and not gotten any points so then they've got nothing to fight for right now we should win this game and just see our uh, uh, our um, our spot in the knockout stages and if you look at the top scorers Greenwood is the top scorer in the Europa League, he scored 7 goals in the Europa League, that's impressive for young Mason Greenwood, which is why I thought bringing him on against Sheffield would have made a difference, but he did not. Hi guys, thanks all for being here. Questions one at a time, please. Mata is in good form, will we see more of him today? Probably not, probably not. Rotation is key. I'm looking after all players in the squad and the desire to play. Mata must make the most of any chance he will get if he wants to cement his starting place. Do you feel that considering how strong a Manchester United is when compared to if the match, this match already won? Oof. Practice and focus is what makes us a, a good at what we do. We're not in the position to make comments about FK Hudson. Last time he, you scored two goals in the FK Hawks and made it look easy. Will you be able to beat them? Um, the lads have what it takes. I can't say what Green Hawks strategy is for the game, but I know the lads are more than prepared. That's all we have time for today. Thank you. Alright, before we go for the match against Hogsad, let me just clean up my coach, mm, my my character here. Let's clean him up. Let's give him a, a fresh look. Uh, let's see. Alright, so now let's get into that match against Hogs and, and hopefully beat them. 
ticket is already stamped for the knockout phase, but can they claim top spot and perhaps a favourable draw? It's coming up on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. Okay, so if we win this game, we claim top spot and we can play even a much younger squad in the final game. Because top spot will give us a, a, a better draw, a much favorable draw against a much weaker opponent. So we're going to try and do that here. We are with Soria now. Soria finds Angel Gomez. Gomez finds... We've seen this before. We've seen this before. We have seen this before. Angel oh, no, Gomez should have finished that. Greenwood and Gomez. We've seen this before this season. We expect them to be great every time they play together. Let's be fair. Angel Gomez again. Finds Tahir. Tahir finds Greenwood. Greenwood should have finished. Greenwood should have finished. I didn't expect him to reach that ball given uh, the defender had like a yard on him but he's proved me wrong so i'm going to keep playing those balls through to him and hoping that he'll find he'll reach them he finds chong nice guard of the ball by chong gomez he's got soria plays soria through soria what a cut in from young soria here soria hits the post Oh my goodness, how much I wanted that go for that boy. He came from our own youth academy, our current youth academy that we have built, not that the previous manager built. So I need, wanted a go for him, but he just couldn't finish it. He hit the post. Hogs and I in trouble right now. And they are attacking though here, Hogs and they've got men forward. We've managed to bring our defenders back. They take the shot and Sergio Romero saves it. We nearly conceded on the other end after nearly scoring on one end. And they take in the corner. Greenwood finds James Garner. Garner plays it back though to Axel Twanzibi. Nice from Twanzibi. He finds Garner. Who finds Gomez? Who finds Soria? Who finds... Mason Greenwood, who finds Soria, Soria side netting, side netting from our young number 11. Oh, he should have done better there, Soria should have finished that. We're not going to concentrate so much on that negative part of the game, we're just going to get into the second half and try and uh, grab this game. We have been the better team and I feel like we deserve more from this game, Soria. Keep in mind, Soria is, is... Look at him go. He is a young player, this boy. He, that was great from Soria. Given that he's just 17, 18, he's very young. He might be the youngest player on the pitch right now. And he's doing things that... Oh, that are just mesmerizing. Like that piece of skill there. Ghana, though. Just playing it smart, finds Matic, but Ghana, Greenwood finds Gomez! The keeper did well, though it was offside, Gomez should have done better, even if he was offside, he should have at least scored, but their keeper did very well there. Well, just to point you in the right direction, Gomez again, find Soria, Soria to Greenwood, to Gomez, Gomez has got Greenwood waiting for it! Oh my word! How did their keeper save that? We'll see as the season goes on. We still have a lot of games to play, so we're gonna see if he's gonna step up. But um, he hasn't been. Oh, what a back heel from from Greenwood! And Gomez wants to repay him, and he does. Mason Greenwood finds the back of the net. What a back heel that was from. It was a scorpion kick, it was a scorpion pass from Greenwood. They're not going to show it? Oh man, come on, that was a great pass to Gomez and Gomez repays Greenwood and Greenwood gets his 8th goal of the Europa League. In how many games? In 5 games? 8 goals? That's impressive for young Mason Greenwood. And that's another assist for young Angel Gomez. Garner though, he's not having it man. 
Gomez. Oh, Greenwood plays Soria through, and the defender just reached it on time. He reached it right before Soria could. Oh, good defending. Greenwood is running. He's found. Mason Greenwood! What a strike! What a strike from young Mason Greenwood. What a pass from Angel Gomez for a second assist. It's the two of them again. It seems like every time these two play, it's the show mainly about the two of them. Gomez the assist, Greenwood the finish. It has become the story of the, our Europa League campaign. That's the story of our Europa League campaign right now. Gomez and Greenwood. Man. I'm impressed by those two this season. Soria throws it just to the opponents. Um, 71 minutes gone. I'm going to give a debut one to our youngsters, to both of our youngsters who are on the bench. Here we go with Gomez. Gomez. Find Soria. Soria! Damn, he gets his goal. It's not a debut day goal, but... It's his goal, first goal for the senior team from Soria, third assist for Angel Gomez. He would have found Greenwood, he waited and waited and finds Soria and Soria finishes to get the third goal of our game, third assist for Angel Gomez. Name me a better young number 10 than Angel Gomez, I'm waiting. He knows how to find a pass he knows how to create a goal and the game is done three new uh soria scores greenwood scores two angel gomez gets three assists chong shows potential again we play our youth our other youth players who have just promoted from the youth academy it's been a great a great day today a great day at the office mason greenwood again but the main man of today's show definitely, definitely has to be Angel Gomez. There he is, 9.6 rating. He got three assists. And, man, what can I say? Of our three goals, all of them came through him. I'm impressed by Angel Gomez. Let's go for the post-match interview. Time for a quick question. Why didn't we get to see Mata play today? Well, Gomez was brilliant, right? I don't understand why, but um, team, my goal is to win and I always put the team, um, team's ambition first. Each match requires different tactics and even if you didn't see Mata play, man, with two goals to secure a win, Greenwood was the hero today. Any thoughts? Gomez was the hero. It's an overall great performance, so the team played well, the entire team. And Man United puts the group before individuals. That's brilliant. You won again. Do you think FK Hogshead played well? That's tricky. For most parts, they did, but not as well as we did. We respect our opponent and they played well, but clearly Manchester United players played better. Thank you for your time, really appreciate that. That's all the questions we have for you. And now we're going to... Well, we're going to now look at... Um, coming back in the matches against Tottenham and City. And then we're going to... Yeah, those are the two matches. We're going to have Tottenham, City, Tottenham. In the Carabao Cup. I don't like showing the Carabao Cup, but Tottenham is a big match. So we're going to have Tottenham City, Tottenham. We've already qualified for the knockout stages in the Europa League. So as Alkmaar, we're not going to show that. So yeah, I'll see you in the match against Tottenham 